Hello and welcome to my first look map tour of the Neverland map by Farmer TV Ollie5464, who I believe just used to go by Ollie5464. Don't quote me on it, but I'm sure. Now, the Neverland map is a mix between styles of the French and American maps. Many elements of both maps can be found here. On the map you will find 22 fields, 3 forests, many free places, so I think that's empty land to build upon, lots of meadow, 6 outlets with so 6 cell points, more than 50 purchasable spaces, 2 towns, uh, 2 gas stations, lots of decorations, and it also says at the bottom here, which confuses me a little bit, Starfeld's large fleet of departing vehicles for an empty yard. Now whether something has got lost in translation there I'm not sure. So let's take a little look at our map. Now when you spawn in you don't start here where I am you start over here and this is a massive empty concrete plot which puts me in the thinking of these other areas that look similar are other empty plots and uh, we'll check that out as we go around. But on the map have a store, which is the handler. We have the store, gas station, supermarket cell point. We have a spacer cell point. Again, I think I've come across another map that's uh, in German. The depot cell point, and here we have another gas station. We have the farmers market. We have the uh, animal market. And we have the store, which is probably like a supermarket store because that's a cell point. And this is Handel Palatin, which would be German for store for pallets. So this is probably a production cell point. So they are the cell points that we start with. Plenty of room to add more. Now, if we have a little look at the map prices and what we start with, you'll see you start with quite a bit. Good sizable fields as well. We've got these two plots. Uh, that's that's meadow. That's 300,000. This starting plot, like I say, is empty. We'll probably see that as we go around. There's nothing on it, but you own it. Uh, field 2. Field 14, which is worth nearly a million pounds, euros or dollars, however you choose to play. And the same down here with plot 17, nearly a million pounds, euros or dollars. So even if you don't want to be that spread out, and you think you've not got enough money with a hundred grand, you could sell one of them and be set up. You could sell both of them, say, have nearly two million in the bank, and just buy an extra plot near you and work with that. I think uh, that one's nearly a million, one of the bags nearly a million, and you'd still have a million left. <laughs> That's That would be crazy. be fun, but that would be crazy. But looking at that, the going rate, obviously, for other fields... Nearly a million for that one. Now if we find a small field, which I think is number one, um, still half a million, 457,000. But other lands, if we have a look at a meadow, 364 grand. Got another small patch over here, 225,000. But then these ones, which I think are more building areas, uh, placeable areas, 128,000. 228,000, 129,000, try to find what's the cheapest bit, 121,000, ah, 77,000 down here. Now when we go around, these areas could have houses and stuff already on them. I don't know, I've not been around. This is a proper first look. 44 grand for that little plot, 68 there. Oh, that comes with that, that's pretty cool. So you get the field and that little bit of grass. Now these paler brown corners, I am wondering if they are woodland though. 237, 135,000. Anyway, enough of that. Let's take a look at the equipment that you start with if you come in on New Farmer. Because although if you come in on New Farmer, there is no farm. <laughs> Not that I've got a farm anyway. Um, you do have a lot of equipment. Under medium tractors, you have the JCB Fast Track 4220 and the Massey Ferguson AS205. That's some big medium tractors there. 
we got power 235, 225. Not bad. Harvester of choice is the case axle flow at 7150. That is a big one as well. That's a 10,000 litre capacity harvester from the get go. Trailer wise, you start off with two Rudolphs. So you've got the DK uh, 280RL, a pair of them. So they've both got the dollies on the front. Not my choice. You have the header for the case, the 3050 Terraflex 28 foot. Also have the corn header, the uh, Capello uh, Diamant 12. 9 meters. You start with a stone picker, the uh, the larger of the base game stone pickers, the Scorpio 550. You have a Diablo Mulcher Maxi Cut 600. Plow of choice is the Cavernland Ecomat uh, 3.5 meters. Yeah, 3.5 meters. You have the Cockling All Rounder Flatline 600 Cultivator. That's a shallow cultivator. You also have a disc arrow, the uh, Cockling uh, Rebel Classic 600T, so it's another six meter one. And you have a power arrow, the HR6040 RCS. Under Cedars, we have the S Pro 6000 RC and the TF1512 front hopper as well for extra seed capacity. That's pretty decent. Also get a planter, which is the Maxima 3 LI, uh, TIL. That's another six meter working width. Rollers, you have the Delbo Power Roll 1230 HD. It's a 12.3 meter working width on that. Big machinery all round. Under sprayers, we have both parts of the Hardy setup. We've got the Mega 12 100L and the Mega 1200L tank for your herbicide and your liquid fertilizer. Solid fertilizer sprayers. We've got the Brendel K105. That'll be for fertilizer and lime. And then you also have the Amazon ZA TS3200, which is just for fertilizer. Headers, you've got the what's that, Nardi. N6030 and weights of choice are the 10 Winkle Pack 1500 and Pack 1000. So you have a lot, a lot of equipment, and perhaps this is Starfell's large fleet of departing vehicles. I guess you have to sell them for the empty yard. <laughs> Now, like I say, when you come into the game, you start in the plot down near field two. But since all the equipment is here, we're going to start up at the store. And the first thing I noticed is, if you like your collectibles, they're not that hard to find. They're quite literally doing a trail around here. <laughs> and you can follow it out. Still haven't picked one up. And they go off up the road that way. But this is our store, Cleaver Motors. I believe this is from the American map because uh, I've not really seen it, <laughs> just in Parson. So, purchase there. Actually, we'll do, although we've got a lot of equipment, we will do a purchase just to see where they spawn. I do like to do that. Come on, the most purchased tractor ever, this is. And it's joined in at the end of that row. Okay, so they've literally all been purchased in and they fill in in that direction. That is all your equipment, by the way. Look at that. But someone's having a yard sale. Repair point here. Uh, no trigger to open that. But that's your repair and sell point. Plenty of space around here. I think, again, this is a map. Although it has quite a bit on it, it's definitely designed and set up for you to make of it as you wish. There's a lot to do, but so much space, so much freedom. So let's have a quick rundown of the equipment. So much. 
Look at all this, as if you start with all this. Uh, we'll jump in the JCB, because it's not very often we get to drive a JCB fast track. This will be our tour vehicle. We've got a lot to get around, so uh, it should be uh, nice and quick. I remembered to sort my wheel out today as well, so the wheel is, isn't all loosey-goosey. We can uh, get around about being scared. So we're going to head out left, and we're going to see what's on over here. And like I say, there are a lot of these areas that you could buy them up, and they don't have to be placeable areas. You could plough that up, and you can have a field or a meadow or whatever you want there. But that is nice and flat. Get some animal pens in. Do what you like, because there are... No animal pens from what I've seen. Ooh. The village just spawned in. <laughs> I thought there'd be houses around here somewhere. Go on. Oh, that's good. Let me wait for you. I've not even noticed that. So this is one of two villages. So in on our left. We have the supermarket. That will just be, uh, I believe it's just called handle. So we've got unload there. Nice and simple. Plenty of space to turn around and get them big vehicles in there because you're going to have big, big equipment with these big fields. Gas station here. Again, nice and simple. Got to love that collision. Let's try and weave around them. Well, I say it's it's not completely flat, but it is a relatively flat map. I just want to see what we like for tree density because you can't really tell. Ah, around here, what I thought was going to be a raised bit is a lowered bit. So we've got water on the map. If you want a water source, there it is. Very nice. I'm just going to turn myself around. Oh, we've got a bowling alley. In your tell in cab. <laughs> right. So let's head around and we'll go... Where should we go? So we'll take up that singular point at the top and then I can speed my way back down and through and that will also get a chance to look at some of these other... Uh, small areas to see what they're like. I think this is looking looking all right. I mean, it's it's a lot of squarish fields. There are there are some irregular shapes, but it's mainly square fields. Lots of space. Worker friendly, no doubt. Nice big meadow there. But with the uh, the fire department. Look at that, that's pretty cool. I'm actually really liking this already. Um, scope to do... Excuse me, we just got to ignore that. Scope to be able to do what you want with this map, with placeables and editing it and making it your own. I think that's that can never be underestimated because it's not always easy on a lot of maps. You'll come across some maps and they're beautiful and detailed but then they're almost impossible to make unique. Whereas you can place whatever you want, create whatever you want here. Got no. And we are hitting everything. Perhaps I'm better with Lucy Goosey steering. Let's just stay half on the road. Nice old barn. Big, big open areas. Big. I'm going to clip that one as well. I feel like the traffic isn't far enough over to its left. <laughs> it's their fault, not mine. Again, okay, another big open area here. A disused factory here. Self storage. Something for a bit of RP, I guess. It'd be nice if you could buy that and turn that into something. Maybe you can. Maybe you can buy it up and delete it. So it looks like up the top here is your grain elevator. 
nice little house with shelter. So since you don't have a farmhouse or anything when you come in, you get one of those placeable um, sleep points and uh, turn one of these into your your home, your farmhouse. They've got little shelters and stuff. Here we have our grain mill. Or grain elevator, not grain mill. So here you will uh, be selling your grains, your produce. That camera just cannot resist <laughs> changing what, what you're doing. A bit of space around here. Put in out both sides. Nice and simple, but sometimes that's all you need. Look at that size of that field, that's huge. That's not even one of the biggest. There's lots of land, <laughs> lots of money to be had off this land. Yeah, I'm just going to drive on the side there, mate, and <laughs> stay out of the way of the traffic for a bit. Have a little look then. Big expanse. It's just. It's nice looking though. It's not doesn't feel overly empty like sometimes um, they can feel a bit empty when you have a big map with lots of openness like this I think there's enough going on especially since you've got the traffic and you have the people in the town you don't feel like you're emptying on your own here we'll, uh, we'll make our way down and I'll show you the plot of land uh, that you start with because that is just ahead of us See if we can get back on the road without taking anyone out. So over here on your right, that's your starting meadow. That big meadow there is yours. If you come in on New Farmer. And then that big plot of land here, this is where you spawn in. So this is here for you to build your farm on if you so wish. Just when you come in. Now tell me you can't have fun on that. Bit, get a bit creative. We like that. Score extra marks for creativity on your screenshots. So then down here on our left, I believe, was another gas station. Certainly looks it. Smaller gas station, little town. Everyone's... Uh, Going to buy the lottery tickets by the looks of it. And as we come around over on the other side, we have a farmer's market, I think. Fresh produce, farmer's market, gotta be. One car stop for me, I'm already pulling out. Sell point here. Yep, farmer's market. Lake again. So where it looked like the land is raised on your mini map, it's actually uh, lowered. It's got that reverse effect. I was going to loop round, but actually we've got our other point down here. So we'll go take that in. That's how you can tell when when I'm really honestly doing a very first look but when I don't know which way I'm going to go now you could try and steal water out of there with a tanker but that's quite quite a steep uh, pull again more area to do with as you wish oh look at that I'm, I'm liking the look of that That looks like an awesome grain dryer and grain selling station. Very cool. Again, more big land. And, oh, nice big field there. Edo. Now, I'm starting to come across a lot of maps and I'm always looking at the core. Oh, yeah, I could have a real good bit of fun on this. It's just not enough time to do them all. That's the trouble. So here, 
Let's see, are we doing uh, just a sell point? I think this is another another grain crop sell point in here. I'm just going to check on the map for this one because I think this is one that had a funny name. Oh, it's just the depot. So at the elevators, grain elevator, uh, store, and depot. So the depot takes pretty much everything as well. Oh, that's good that you've got them three that take pretty much everything all the time. Obviously, we need them productions for those. But your farmer's market, your production one, and your supermarket will take you. Crops like that. You can even sell your manure and your slurry and your digestate. Pig food. Oh, wow. That's good. I've just, uh, this map's gone up in my estimations even more now. I love when people do that. When I mean, you've only got the one sell point or just two sell points that take the odd thing. There's never really any competition for you to uh, sell anywhere because one is always seems to be higher. And also being able to sell more products, more base game product. You know, because sometimes people want to use the fertilizer, but they've got the animals, so they're making slurry, they're making manure. So to have somewhere to sell that, to make the the cows maybe more cost effective in that way because they like using a fertilizer spreader rather than a, a manure spreader or a slurry spreader. It's just bonus, it's more options. And uh, people like to have options. I do anyway. So yeah, uh, Ollie. 5464. Liking your map, sir. Liking your map. I am assuming you are a sir. So, round we go. Round we go. Just a few more spots to take in. We'll try and stay on the road. I have so few accidents when I'm in cab. <laughs> That's what I tell myself anyway. So on the left we have our animal market. Nice building. Again, if this is the animal market off the American map, very nice. No, I think this is custom. That looks like that's probably custom. That is nice. I like that. So you can buy your animals here in the trigger. Um, or you can, if you put down a animal pen, you can buy them at the pen. But you do incur delivery costs. Uh, it does in the long run, if you do a lot with animals, work out cheaper to buy an animal trailer and pick up and deliver your animals for purchase and then for sale. If you don't do a lot of animal stuff, then you know, you're only just going to buy a, a few, let them breed and keep it at that, keep churning out the milk, keep churning out whatever it is they produce. There may be direct purchases for you. Once again, it's one of them things where you play your way. Just because I think it's better to play that way or more cost effective to play that way, that might not work out for you. You might think, well I'm only going to buy them once, why do I need a trailer? Just take that one hit, that one, that one cost. So let's see if we can swing in this way. And we've got a couple of uh, points of interest here. So let's try and get in between some of it. One of them is here. We'll check what this is. We are at the uh, store for pallets. So this is where you'd sell your uh, post-production produce. There we are. Handle pallet and furniture, planks, chocolate, stuff like that. Post-produce. And then if I can find the udder, 
over here is another one for your raw materials, your your grains, your beets, stuff like that with chips. I think the silage and your slurry and everything else was going in here. So nicely done. I actually really like this. Now, quite often the square fields, the big fields sort of put me off a bit, but you, if you come in, you start with big equipment, or you can get rid of that big equipment, and you can start with a good bit of money, you start with a good bit of land. Lots of choice. Now, I didn't see if that was... Oh yeah, that is over there behind us, forestry on the um, light brown triangles. So there's only, what, one, two, three sort of major forestry plots. This is mainly an agricultural map by the looks of it, but there's nothing to stop you from planting trees, placing trees, uh, you know, getting your poplar down, uh, poplar down if you wanted to do that sort of thing, get your wood chips in, have fun that way. But this has been my map tour of the Neverland map 2022 by uh, Farmer TV Ollie 5464. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. I've really enjoyed looking around this. Uh, it's It's been a nice, refreshing map to look at. So if you've enjoyed it, give it a big fat thumbs up down below. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn your bell notification on, find out when new videos are going live. As always, comments and feedback down below. Have you played this map before? Have you played it in 22? Have you played it in 19? Let me know. You guys have yourselves a wonderful day. Hopefully I'll see you again very soon. Bye-bye.